Common sayings of lost people, number 14. You are legalistic. You're going to get that one put on you by lost people when you try to talk to them about sin and the standards of Scripture. You're being legalistic. Well, what, are they, what are the Scriptures that you can use to answer that? Jude chapter 1, there's only one chapter, verses 3 and 4. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, when people try to turn God's grace into lasciviousness, lasciviousness just means let the flesh just... Let it all hang out, whatever you want to do. You know, if it feels good, do it kind of thing. Um, do, wilt thou, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. You know what I mean? Um, like that, that's lasciviousness. And they'll say, well, you know, the Bible teaches that God has grace. So I, I can do these things after I'm saved. And God just, His grace is there for me. And He's not going to punish me. And I'm not going to lose my salvation if I do these things and whatever else. And almost all the time they're lost. They're not really even saved. False converts, as the Bible talks about, in perils among false brethren. But uh, notice it says there that when they are turning the grace of God into lasciviousness, denying and, and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. When you turn God's grace into lasciviousness, when you're using God as a way to justify your sin, uh, another big reason why people get involved in organized religion because then you got a bunch of other hypocrites that surround you and, hey, we're all doing this thing, so I guess it's okay. They're turning the grace of God into lasciviousness. And as a result, they're actually denying the Lord. Very interesting. Romans chapter 6, verses 1 through 7. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin." For he that is dead is freed from sin. You don't have to be a slave to sin anymore like you did back there in your lost life. You see, you can walk a newness of life. If any man be in Christ, old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. You can have that new life in Jesus Christ. You don't have to mess around with this world back here. That's how that thing works. But what will happen is, you get somebody that's over here, they're still in their sin, but they're pretending to be over here. They're pretending to be a Christian, and they'll say, when you try to say, hey, that uh, snake's going to bite you. Hey, that lightning's going to get you. Hey, that uh, rock right there, you're going to slip and get cut on that over there. What they'll do is they'll say, you're being legalistic. How dare you be legalistic? <laughs> you're making all these extra laws. No, I'm simply saying that these things here in this world over here are bad for you. That's why they don't appear over here in the new life as a Christian. You see, all you got to do here is come to the end of your self-righteousness and say, I need a Savior. I can't save myself. You get saved, and God will clean up your life. He helps you to become that new creature where you're no longer bound to sin. You're no longer tied to that life of sin. doesn't make you legalistic, right, to say I have standards over here. Things have changed. But you'll get that from lost people. Take them through their scriptures. That's what I would advise.